It's every kid's dream, including mine, to be a firefighter. So here's my chance. Battling a blaze, firefighters need information, and fast. An incredible new system may be a life-saving security solution. I got a chance to try it out. And let me tell you, I have a new respect for America's bravest and some amazing engineers at UC Berkeley. And then wrap the top. This is uh, I mean, really hard to do. Now I understand why they have to be built. In the midst of smoke-filled chaos, communication can mean the difference between life and death. Get the, phone, get it the fire information rescue equipment, or fire system, gives commanders and firefighters valuable real-time information so they can track their teams. And firefighters aren't navigating blindly. It's like GPS for your car, but these guys face greater risks than missing their exits. One of the key technologies is a small head-mounted display that gives firefighters floor plan layouts of the scene and other critical information. And what's great is I can actually look into the monitor and see exactly where I am. So if this is dark or it's smoke-filled and I can't see, I can look at the map right on my screen and know exactly where I am. And that, of course, can save my life as well as somebody else's life. Here's how it works. Each firefighter wears a wireless sensor that transmits signals to a command center. In the face mask, firefighters see their location in a building to ensure they don't get lost. Commanders track firefighter locations and monitor their health conditions. The fire system also helps guide them to waiting victims and helps them avoid hazardous areas. Visual prompts appear in their face mask to ensure that in the chaos, firefighters don't miss critical instructions. The key to the system are moats, which are wireless transceivers and sensors. So could we actually, if the battery pack was smaller, could we make this even smaller than it absolutely, is now? Absolutely, yeah. Really? Yeah, absolutely. This new firefighting system began as a thesis project at the University of California at Berkeley. So why don't you give me some history and how did this all come about? At Berkeley, we were on a project uh, called Smart Dust, where the idea was really you could take very miniature wireless devices and really just spray paint them all over the pace, place, paint them onto walls, uh, have them be ubiquitous in, in your life. That's the origin of this device. And we went out and started a company to go and commercialize this and show the world the various applications that, that could really revolutionize some of the uh, things like firefighting and, and medical industries. I'm Joel Wilson. Hi, Chief Kirk Richards. Nice to meet you. The developers are still perfecting the technology, and they want to hear from the experts about what they need to save lives. What kind of interface do you think would work well? My experience with voice control, it's not that good. I'd just rather keep it simple. Mm -hmm. it's, if it's just push one button, it zooms in, OK, I got it. Is this system also capable of giving us temperature readings? It is. Uh, we don't have that enabled right now, but it definitely is. Two hours of experimentation and testing, and these developers have new insight and new ideas. Do you see the potential? Oh, definitely see the potential. Yeah. You know, this, this would work great. It will also help us uh, expedite rescues and uh, save a lot of lives that might otherwise be lost. The new generation, they, the, these young people that play video games, you know, they would latch onto this real easy. Pat, you got a lot of feedback today. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, it was really helpful. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm really excited about it. It's, it's great. Watch for more refinements next year from Fire, a hot security tool at NextBest. I feel a little like Darth Vader.